Well, hello everybody and good morning. I hope that each and every one of y'all having a good week out there this week. I'm trying to shift around here. I hope I got the camera at a good angle. I'm trying to get a little bit of light on it, you know, and uh, I'm in a shatter sometime, but i am got a light in front of me, and I don't know if it's illuminating good enough or not. Y'all let me know if you can see okay, because if I zoom in too close, all you can see is part of my board. I don't you see the whole thing. And what we're going to be talking about today is bar movement and bar sliding techniques, slants and slide backs and slide ends. And basically, it's your voicing of your guitar and the voicing during a song. And a song can take characteristics of many genres, country uh, and uh, rock and gospel, you know, and just many different styles, old style rock, new style rock or whatever, heavy metal don't matter what you're playing, it's going to be all in your bar hand. And also, a good reason that everybody should be playing or interested in a lap steel and playing it is that don't many people play it, but in a band, they really stand out good. You got your highs, and you got your lows. With that being said, techniques. I slide in a lot and I slide out a lot. Let me demonstrate a slide in. And I'm doing a skip string for you this time on the second, third string. Then going over to the next set. And that would be the third and the fourth string. It sounds like this. Now there's a slide out. Another style slide out. Go a whole step. Try a slant. Now I'm using strings one and two, and then the, I'm putting the bar on the back part is on this sixth fret. The front part's on the seventh fret. It sounds like this. Then I'm going to put the back of the bar on the eighth and the front of the bar on the ninth. So it's going to sound like this with both of them. Then I'm doing what I call my windshield wiper roll or. Then I'm skip stringing again. sound or a note or a chord is what it is.
and what I'm playing is an A, and then this is a B sus, uh, uh, C sharp sus, and a D, and then an E. Or you could roll it in like this. And I'm just using a straight. And it all depends on the song or the sound you're going for. Because anytime you change up using the same chord, I can make it up. changes the style of your music. Also vibrato. Set up to go to my E, I go to that B like that. Yeah. Another thing I do a lot. windshield wiper and as you can see it gives a pretty sound now, and now call it, it's kind of like pushing a pedal on a pedal stick. Another way to do it would be it's just a slide back and a skip string pick. Go to your D, I mean your E, and then hit a note and slide back to your A. What I'm 
I'm doing there is palm muting. Another technique that we use. It goes. And that just depends on where your song's going or how it is, you know. Another technique. It's just picking across the third and the second string. Another technique I use sometime when I'm going to that B line. And all that is is a B, a C sharp, a D. And a lot of times, just when I'm playing along with the band and they just singing and all I want is a little rhythm, I get over here and do it like this on the... simple instrument but it takes practice as would all musical instruments. Now instead of using the this time I'm using the second and the third string on my slant and that would make my bar be at the sixth and the seventh breath but only on the second and first sounds like this
So it's got a different sound, listen. watching. And we playing in the key of A today. play lap steel near about a hundred percent by ear but I can uh, look at a piece of music and tell uh, what key it's in and what the notes is in the progression but now the time signature I, I have no idea on that part <laughs>
and roll the country and gospel on this lap steel. It's just as versatile as a uh, guitar, but it's got a different sound. It'll stand out in the band or it'll blend in with the band. It's up to you to decide and get your own style going, and I'm trying to show you some different techniques to use your bar. And I'll tell you something else. If you live up north, it's done happen again. Somebody left the gate open. Your weather are gonna come down here. We've been having two days. This is the second day of 40 degrees. And 40 degrees in the south is like 20 degrees in the north because we are damp and wet. We've had major rain. And whoo, is it cold outside. Also, a major development in my farming progress is terrible, terrible thing has happened. I had 10 rows of the prettiest corn you ever seen and doggone hogs have come in my field two or three nights and just plowed them up. I mean, I barely got one whole row left and that makes me sick because I had about $70 in seed corn out there and it was a special corn that I grew one time that I love and also I had bought five bags of fertilizer for it and them bags are twenty dollars a piece I hadn't put it out I was gonna side dress it and put my fertilizer out but ain't nothing much left to side dress so I reckon I'm gonna have to shoot get some hogs or something I don't know I've got to go down there and find out where they're coming in because my property's got a fence around it in the back and we got some old trees that got struck by lightning and I'm sure some of them's done fell on the fence and broke it down but the fence is down there and part of it's in a behind my fish pond in a swamp area and I'm waiting on it to dry a little bit to go down there and also we got a lot of mean vines down there with some thorns on as long as you find them they'll cut you all to pieces so I have to take some cutters to cut my way through the vines down there you don't go down there with a machete like you see them on TV because you hit that vine it just jumps right back at you and cuts you or stabs you Anyway, I'm hoping that everybody's having a great week. I'm hoping everybody gets some time to sit down and practice their lap steel music like I do, especially when it's cold like this in the morning. Now, it will warm up. I cut my yard, front yard and backyard yesterday. Today, I'm going to cut my mother's yard. And uh, everything in the garden's looking good. I got uh, onions and I got tomatoes and I got peppers and, of course, they're the plants, they're not producing fruit yet, but my uh, my tomatoes got three or four blooms on them. I don't know if they'll stay on or not, we'll see. I got uh, flowers out there, the bees are coming to them. I've got uh, spinach, and I got uh, romaine lettuce, got icebox lettuce, uh, broccoli, uh, zucchini squash, and then I got my favorite straight neck yellow squash. I don't like the crook neck. I reckon it's odd if you pick them real little. They tend to, but if they get any size on them, they're hard as a darn gourd. Like squash is in the gourd family out there. Oh, and I got cucumbers and cantaloupes. So I have plenty of good bittles this year for sure. I got some more stuff I'm gonna plant. I got some bunching onions I'm gonna plant because they perennials, they come up and over and over and just keep producing and spreading. And of course, you got to break them apart and help them. But that's all right. Okay, well, anyway, y'all have a great week out there. And uh, Al, I'm ready you it's cold up there and speedy up there where you at. I know it's probably cold. Whew. And uh, by golly, Charlie. I know you probably up there close to Oklahoma area in the top of Texas. I bet it's cold and y'all ball had some several rains. I seen this last rain we had actually look like how y'all might have had snow and ice up your way. Uh, I seen something on the news that they had a big pile up on the interstate in Pennsylvania cause of it. So uh, just don't look like winters wanting to go away this year. Uh, it's hanging on for life, I think. Y'all stay safe and have a good week.